Getting right into today's video, we're gonna start off by unboxing all of the nail goodies that I got to share with you guys. So we're starting off with this sheer gel polish collection. They are like nude colors, which I am, you know, obsessed with. Um, I'm not gonna be swatching them for you guys, but if you guys are interested in me doing like a live swatch with all of the colors, I will absolutely do that. So drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys are interested in that. But the colors have like kind of uh, separated from the clear. So definitely translucent. Um, they look absolutely beautiful from what I can see. Now we are kind of opening up this second gel polish collection that I got. It had such amazing colors. I will enter a photo of the listing so you guys can see why I chose it. The bottles are very, very small, but for the price of it, you cannot go wrong. You get tons of colors to choose from and the variety is honestly amazing, I feel like. This glitter is absolutely stunning. I did swatch it on my own nail and it's absolutely beautiful. I feel like by itself or on top of one of the colors, it would look stunning. So now we're gonna be opening the nail tips box. This one is actually the one that I was most interested in trying because of their little light. So here are the tips, your typical like press on gel tip extensions. It comes with the little application guide, which I adore. It comes with a nail glue as they call it, which is technically the gel adhesive. And then this little light, you guys. Okay, the reason why I wanted to test these out is because I've been on a hunt for the perfect light to do like gel X nails and all that good stuff. This one is sensor activated and as soon as you remove your finger, it turns off. So I was completely sold. It is a USB connection, um, which I think is kind of nice, but of course you have to get a cube if you are gonna put it to an outlet. I love it. So definitely excited to be testing out these products for you guys. Now I'm gonna get started with my prep here. I am just basically gonna be filing my nail. We're essentially just buffing off that shine. This is going to help everything adhere. Now per the directions, it did say to just buff it um, with a file. However, I wanted to do like a full in-depth prep because I haven't had nails on in a while and I really wanted to like clean up all my cuticles and just make everything look as nice as possible. So I am using the Lavender e-file, which should be now released from Kiara Sky. I am so excited to be using this. It's so quiet. Like a new e-file is just so bomb. So I have had a speed of 4,000 RPMs. That is the speed that I suggest and highly recommend. Do not go past that when you are prepping the natural nail. Now, per my last video where I talked about all the e-file must-haves and all the bits that I feel like are crucial to your nail career. Somebody did suggest for me to use the bits that I mentioned in a video like all together. Um, I'm gonna be using a majority of them in this video. So we're starting off with the Pentagon needle bit from Kiara Sky. This one is a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely scared. I would consider myself like a pro when it comes to nails, but I was still scared. So I don't know what that's about. It's very, very sharp, um, definitely. 4,000 RPMs on that speed and we're just being extra careful with it because I really thought I was gonna stab myself Now that one essentially just like helps you remove all the dead skin And then I'm gonna be using this tapered bit from Kiara Sky as well It is diamond cut and I love it. This one is one of my favorites and I do recommend it 10 out of 10 love it now we are going in with a cuticle ball bit. This is essential to the nail game. I feel like it just cleans everything up, makes everything look super, super perfect. I do up my speed for this one to 5,000 RPMs, and I'm just going around that cuticle, making sure that I buff off all that dead skin. Now very quickly, I'm gonna be going in and sizing my nails. I'm basically just taking like the numbers that I feel like would fit, checking from side to side from my natural nail and making sure that it's gonna fit nice and snug. If I do have a nail bed that is slightly flatter near the cuticle area, obviously take a hand file and file that. You will see that process a little later on for my thumbnail because my thumbnail does have more of a squared cuticle area. So again, I'm sizing it, making sure that it is gonna fit. And then going back to the directions, I was like, this time I will listen to the directions. Nine out of 10 times that I do a product review or I test something out, 
I don't. I don't look at the instructions and I just wing it. So not this time. We're gonna pay attention and actually listen to how we're supposed to properly do it. So here you see me just flattening it out and I'm actually using a hand file from McCart. Now, per the directions, you basically just go in and add the nail glue to the tip, press it onto your nail and cure it. Um, aside from like different brands that do offer this type of product, typically you add a base layer to your natural nail, cure it, and then go in and do this process on the tip and then you press it in and cure it. So this is definitely different. I will be updating you guys on how they have lasted on my nails. I'm not sure if you're able to do this same process with all the other brands, but so far I like the, you know, quickness of it. It took me a total of about maybe six minutes to apply all of the tips which is amazing um, all the other times it definitely takes me a good like 20 minutes to do them and obviously I'm not like a pro when it comes to this type of process but I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory um, the light absolutely I'm sold like just with the light I feel like it's a game changer it's so much more convenient you just have to have it plugged in slide your finger right on in it's nice and easy to do so as you guys can see me doing it I am so excited that I have this I will definitely be doing more gel enhancements or gel tips for you guys because I feel like this process just makes it so much easier for you guys to do your nails at home if you guys are wanting to do that cost you know is way cheaper than doing all kinds of craziness but I love it I feel like this is gonna be a new you know kind of thing that I do on myself for sure so I will definitely let you guys know though how well they held up um, I always try to update you guys when it comes to that like if they break or anything like that um, I will definitely let you guys know and I'm just going in with another round and letting them fully cure but pretty pretty simple Definitely love it. It was very quick I literally just pressed it in as long as you don't put too much gel on there. You should be good to go Now once everything is cured, I'm actually going in with my tapered bit once again and I'm going to be using this bit to just gently remove any gel that may have gotten around the cuticle area. Inevitably, it's going to happen. I feel like no matter how careful you are, you will get like a sliver of it on there. But it's not that big of a deal as long as you're being very careful. Regardless, I feel like we should always blend that tip to that cuticle area so that it's nice and flush. So it's basically just doing the same process that I would have already done. But we're just cleaning it up a little bit more. See how beautiful? Definitely love it. Now I did get the coffin ones. I'm not quite sure if they have different lengths or different shapes. Um, but if they do, I will leave those linked as well so you guys can check those out. Now I'm just taking a sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and we're going to be buffing the surface of the nail. I chose a buffer because it did not say that you needed to buff the surface so I didn't want to etch it too much. And not only that, like I feel like it's just cleaner for your gel application. Um, might just be my preference but I do like to buff it out just to make sure that everything adheres very well. Now, like I mentioned, we are at my house and I did not have nail tip cutters or anything like that. So I'm just using what I had and I do have these stork scissors. These are from Profiles Backstage. I keep these at my house because they are very nice and handy. I'm just going to be using that to cut the length off. We're going to be doing very short nails and I'm just trying to do this as careful as possible so that we don't get those white indentation kind of marks. And it worked pretty well. They're nice and flexible, so I didn't get too much craziness. Not only that, but I like to cut them a little bit longer so that I have wiggle room to mess up if I do ruin the shape. Now I'm just taking it and cutting off little triangles off of the sides to help me with my shaping, just to kind of minimize the amount of filing that I have to do. Now I am gonna be shaping these basically off camera. It was a little complicated for me. I don't know why I struggled shaping them but i did end up switching files to the profiles backstage one and it works so much better so i'm just going to be sharing the filing process on this finger and then you guys kind of get the gist of it i have more in-depth videos on shaping so if you guys are interested in those they will be linked as well Now 
Now just for reference, I am showing you guys the number of the gel polish I'm going to be using for the nail art. So we're starting off with this really pretty pastel blue and I'm just going to be adding it to my little dish. This is actually a jewelry dish. I am recording on my vanity in my closet. So I'm just using what I got and honestly, this basically is amazing. I feel like taking it to the salon with me for my nail art stuff. Um, then we're going to be doing neon orange, a bright yellow, a bright green, and I am adding white magic from Profiles Backstage because this kit did not come with white. So we're going to be using that one since I do have that here at my house at all times. Now look at this beautiful translucent nude color. I felt like it goes so good with my skin. Not quite sure if those are just my eyes saying that, but I think it's such a pretty nudish pink color. And I love the sheer look of nude colors. I don't know why, but like if you just leave this by itself, it's like the perfect just manicure. I feel like it looks really, really good. It's been like one of my favorite looks. Um, just like a simple, classic, clean manicure. Um, I will say that I made a mistake of adding a black towel for like protection on my vanity and that thing was losing little lint left and right. So you'll see me clean lint off of my nails throughout. I should have gotten rid of it, but at this point, I'm pretty sure I had so much stuff on top of it that it would have just taken forever. And remember, we're doing these nails at like 11 o'clock at night. So I'm just adding a thin layer of that. Absolutely love it. The color is stunning. The formula seems really, really good. Definitely like it for sure. I'm just going in carefully in the category and then just dragging down nothing crazy because it is a little translucent like you cannot go wrong with this color now, i did also want to mention that it is very low odor the gel does not have really odor at all which is always a plus i feel like i don't like smells coming from my gels i don't know i can do monomer but gel i just do not like but I am going to be using the Beetle nail art brushes as well. I realized that they had some on Amazon, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and purchase those as well. They resemble the ones from a cart that I absolutely adore. And I will say, like, as far as looks wise, it definitely looks like the McCart ones. They are a little bit thinner, I feel like, on the handle. Um, maybe a little bit longer as well. The quality seems pretty good. Not complaining at all. I'm just so used to and accustomed to my McCart ones that I will always prefer those. But these are also a really good alternative for nail art brushes if you guys like a skinnier handle. So I'm just going to be going in and outlining this specific nail. We're going to be doing tons of fun nail art as you guys can see from the thumbnail. But for this one, we're going to be outlining the entire nail with that nice neon green color. Now thoughts right off the bat from me using it, it is extremely watery, which is definitely more normal when it comes to gel polish. But if I do purchase a gel polish and I'm going to be adding it to my collection, I want to be able to use that with a lot of different like kind of nail art um, application and, and all that. So I don't know if I would definitely recommend it for nail art specifically. I will say that I struggled quite a bit just because it is a lot runny when it comes to like the consistency of it. I prefer a thicker formula when it comes to gel polishes, gel paints, gel liners and all that just so that I can get a nice opaque layer on the first time that I go in with it and I'm able to apply it and it stays put right in the place that I place it. So uh, that's just my preference. If you guys do like something that's a lot more like sheer or uh, runny when it comes to the formula, this one definitely is a good option for you. And the price, you guys, you really can't beat it. It's nice to have all those colors readily available if you do need them. So definitely recommend it in that aspect. Just for my liking, it's a little on the sheer side. And like I said, these are gel polishes, so I can't really complain because they are not meant specifically for nail art. So I'm gonna go with it. Um, I'm loving the color so far. They definitely are a little less vibrant on the nail, but that could always be because I'm putting it against nude. They're not as vibrant as it would be against white. Um, but we're just kind of going with the design. I feel like I kind of forgot to explain what I'm doing. So for today's nail art, we are actually recreating a lovely nail artist that I came across recently. 
when we're gonna be recreating their work absolutely was so impressed with their nail art skills i just felt like all the designs were so creative and so beautiful so i was like you know what let me give it a go and share their work with you guys definitely love how they turned out and the design is just super super cute so we're doing the outline on the thumb then we're doing like the french style on the middle finger we're doing yin and yang on the pinky and then for the ring finger we're going to be doing like a whimsical kind of vibe um just like uh stripes down the center and then we're going to be adding like swirls and everything so i am curing in the light as needed this is always preference when it comes to your guys's application if you're okay with doing all of it at the same time without curing go for it but i don't like my colors to bleed at all so i do kind of go in color by color and cure it every time and then of course once you start layering on different designs you want to make sure you are curing all the layers now i didn't have a dotting tool at my house either but we're going to be using the bit so i'm just using the back end of the pentagon bit and doing the dots for the yin and yang and then i went ahead and cured it now i'm adding white kind of swirl across that nail now i didn't want to like fully create the design that they did um, i always try to add a twist to it just to kind of give you guys an idea how you can take a design and really turn it into your own yes it still looks very very close to their design but i still tried to give it my own touch so here we are going with the vibes i'm taking the pentagon bit now with the actual bit end of it and we're just adding tiny little dots i feel like this bit was like the perfect bit for my dotting so definitely glad i decided to use that uh, when i was deciding what i was going to use so we're going to be doing like a little starburst star and I'm doing one big dot in the center and then very carefully with a brush, I'm just kind of going to flick it out um, in a cross. I feel like it works best if you kind of just do like a little flick motion and not try to actually draw a line. And we're going to be doing that on the other one as well. Now for the index finger, I went ahead and did two tiny little dots with the yellow and then we're going to be doing like a daisy kind of nail. Um, they did an absolutely gorgeous job at perfecting the entire design. I, however, was not comfortable using the products that I was using, so I did struggle quite a bit and I wasn't able to get as perfect as I would have wanted to. So we're kind of just working with what we got. I'm using the white gel polish from profiles backstage for this and it is a little bit more runny for my liking for nail art so um definitely not trying to make excuses for the lack of detail that i put into it but i definitely feel like once you get comfortable with specific products and you're trying different ones it can be very very tricky and i know that i struggle using different ones as well but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone for the sake of you know kind of sharing more products with you guys so I'm going to go ahead and do like a half daisy on this one. And then we're going to be adding little details in with more color to kind of bring out that design. Now at this point, because it was midnight and I was really trying to finish these nails, I figured I would bring out these new neon gel liners from Profiles Backstage. And the only reason why I decided to do this is because I really wanted to share with you guys like the difference in the colors and the opaqueness, the consistency. You can see that I'm a lot more comfortable drawing with this. It's just like a whole different vibe. Um, we're gonna be doing a smiley line with the neon yellow color. And this one is gonna be a little distorted. So I did first a perfect circle, which I don't know why I did that if I was gonna make it, you know, squiggly all over the place, but I just kind of went in, perfected it. And then I started adding in like the little droopiness in the details. And then we're going to be doing another swirl up top just to kind of tie in everything together.
Now we're gonna be taking some of that green and we're gonna put it right up against that flower and then infill the rest of the area. If you guys do have to do two layers using this product, I would recommend that. I personally don't like layering on any gel products like over and over again just because I feel like the thicker it is, the more likely and prone it is gonna be to lifting and chipping. So I just try to play it safe and add like the least amount of product on the surface. Now I did go ahead and cure that. Once the green was cured, I'm going in with black gel paint. This one is actually from Young Nails. It is not my preferred gel paint. Um, I loved it when I used it, but once I started using different ones, I definitely preferred all the other ones like the profile backstage ones. I just feel like sometimes the pigment separates from the clear in it and I don't like that because you can see it in the nail art. So I did those little specks on the index finger. Now we're going to be outlining the pinky. And then I'm going to be going back to the thumb and outlining the smiley face as well. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best, you know the worst in me Now when it comes to designs, I try to distribute the colors evenly throughout the design. So because I am using black, I try to kind of incorporate it into each of the nails. And black is such a strong dark color, so it will absolutely stand out and you don't want it to take away from the rest of the design. So I added some on the index finger as well, so I kind of just added it in that swirl. And now for the middle finger, we're going to be doing an eyeball. So for these type of designs, I like to do the outline first and then kind of basically use it as like a color sheet vibe. <laughs> you know, you get the outline and then you color in the areas. And so I just feel like that's easier if you outline it first and then go in. The design is quite simple, so I feel like it's easier that way. So I'm doing the outline and then we're going to be adding the lashes. We're going to be curing this fully in the light. You want to make sure that's cured before you go in with your colors. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My actions, they haunt me and I'll never live it down. I'm no good at being good, but I never should have watched. So do you want to take me back? I love a broken plan so we can start again Won't turn down a second chance I'm too selfish for that I let you fall again Now that you know that I'm no good at being good But I never said I was And I feel misunderstood Cause I'm trying hard to now once the outline is fully dry, I am able to go in and color in the areas. So we're starting off with the eye white area and then the colored part, which I'm using the very light blue. I will say that one was a little tricky uh, for whatever reason. It was very, very translucent. So I had to kind of like mix it around and play with it make sure that I like fully coated that area and you can see the actual blue color. I'm just cleaning up with my 3D nail art brush. I'm going in with the blue and you can't really see it. So I was like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> and then I went back in and added a little bit more and I brought out a little bit more of that opaque color. And now this beautiful color is called Neon Peach from the liners, the new neon liners from Profiles Backstage. And I am obsessed. So I really, really liked the brightness of that color. So I ended up adding it into the ring finger as well and you'll see that process as well. So I'm adding another little swirl up top. I feel like it was just overpowering all the other colors because most of them are bright but a little on the dull side. 
So I was like, I'm adding this really bright peach color. I have to tie it in a little bit. So we're putting some on that ring finger and then I'm also adding a little bit at the tip as well. Now a really cool thing about the gel polish kit that I did purchase is that it comes with a base gel, a shiny top coat, and a matte top coat. So you guys already know that I had to try the matte top coat. I did go ahead and test it on my thumb to see if I was going to like it. I'm very picky with my matte top coats and definitely a really good one. It is super, super matte and it has that velvety feel that I absolutely adore. I feel like just rubbing my fingers against the velvety top coat is like a highlight for me but I went ahead and cured it fully made sure that everything was nice and top coated especially when you're doing nail art you want to make sure that you are really really top coating every little area because if you go in with a second layer I feel like it gets a little streaky and you want to make sure that it's just nice and even but that basically concludes today's video let me know what you guys think down below please give me your guys's feedback down in the comment section and let me know if you guys want me to do a color swatch on a live but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time